Welcome back to Ansible's and it looks like Hood finally broke over that IPO price that we spiked up to at $40 and we finally broke above that resistance coming into today and we're going to look to see if we can continue. I'm going to go over exactly what has to happen for us to continue and exactly where you guys can find these breakout alerts so you guys do not miss out on them again and the only thing I ask return is you guys smash that like button and hit subscribe if you guys want to see more chart updates on potential breakouts that we mentioned throughout the week. So let's jump into this one. So I'm going to go over the five minute with you guys here on hood and exactly what has to happen for us to continue going to tomorrow. But I do want to mention before we do get started that we did alert this one yesterday as a possible continuation. Again, we did have an IPO that started at $38, spiked up to $40 and 25 cents. And we did continuously consolidate after we did have that major spike down. And we were looking to see if we can break continue highs. And we did mention yesterday that hood was coming up to possibly test that $40 mark that we did mention as a very key resistance that we were trying to break above. And as you guys can see, we came up to that $40 mark and we did mention a possible breakout. We we mentioned that it was testing new highs again trying to break over that ipo 40 dollars mark that we spiked up to and sure enough we did break into new highs with the body of the candle and as you guys can see we continue to break into new highs we bounced off the 20 may now we are consolidating here on the 20 mays we bounced off the 50 may even though the candles came down to the 50 may and bounced off of it it looks like we are consolidating with the 20 may still above the 50 showing us that we might continue and as you guys can see here we did bounce off of the 20 may going to extended hours but i do want to mention this before we continue on what might happen going to tomorrow is if you guys want to see all these breakouts throughout the day go to instables.com in the description below you guys will never miss a penny stock breakout alert that again we do mention hood because hood has been very volatile and this one was a pretty easy play breaking up to $40 from its previous IPO spike and we also do mention multiple plays like CXTC almost on a 100% breakout that we mentioned in the last video and we also did mention XELA as we were holding up with the volume as you guys can see here and we did break continue highs going to extended hours looking to see if we can continue there as well and I'm going to go over that video in the next video as well and also we did mention CEMI on the news they did mention which is going to be in the last video the video after XELA so definitely check out all those videos you guys want to see all these breakouts that we did mention but again hood has been continuously breaking out over over that $40 mark again with the body of the candle breaking above it as you guys can see here and we're going to see if we can continue going to tomorrow as you guys can see here we are bouncing off the 20 may and we're going to look to see if we can have the same thing happen going to tomorrow we're going to see if we can bounce off the 20 may possibly get this 20 may to curl up and possibly give us that momentum that we're looking for but as you guys can see here we have been decreasing in volume since our ipo price so i definitely would be careful and keep in mind again hood does like to spike up when the market does like to go sideways and we're lacking in volume throughout the day hood does like to spike up around those times i've noticed so i will keep hood on the watch but however we're going to definitely be careful make sure the play does come to us make sure we do get volume confirmation on this breakout as you guys can see here on the MACD, we do have a decrease in buy pressure overall, and we do have an increase in sell pressure. So we could have a continuation in this sell pressure if we do continue to sell off. But again, if we do get buy pressure coming tomorrow, and again, the EMA lines still are above the MACD, showing us that we may continue. But however, again, we do have decrease in buy pressure, increase in sell pressure, showing us that we are having momentum coming to the downside. But again, we are breaking into new highs. So we're going to see if we can break into new highs going to tomorrow. And that would be the play in my opinion. Again, this is not financial advice. This is what I'll be doing. As you guys can see, we broke all the way up to $49 and we got rid Projected almost exactly at $50. So in my opinion, we're going to be looking to see if we can break over $50 with volume again, with buy pressure showing us confirmation on this breakout. But again, hood has been on quite the run and I definitely will be careful going to tomorrow. But again, hood will be continuously break out if the market does continue to be choppy in my opinion. And the market does look like it has been pretty choppy recently. So we're going to keep hood on the watch, make sure we can get more volume confirmation on these breakouts. But however, again, hood definitely on the watch as it likes to break out even without volume. As in my opinion, hood has been pretty skeptical, but has been breaking into new highs when the market is pretty choppy. So again, definitely on the watch still but however again if you guys want to see all these breakouts throughout the day you guys know what to do go to instables.com in the description below you guys will never miss a penny stock break alert through it again and everybody that has been supporting the channel and everybody that has been in the comment section i appreciate everyone you guys as always much love to you guys and if you guys do like this video it does help other people find it and it does help the channel grow and i do appreciate it very much and again god bless you all and i'll see you guys in the next video